Hi, this is Karen McNaught, inspiredbygram.com. And today we're going to be making this masculine nature card. It can be used for all different occasions. Um, I would say it could be used for a just because, Father's Day card, or even a happy birthday card. So let me show you all the supplies we'll be using to create this card. The stamp sets we'll be using are um, rooted in nature, and this comes in a two pack. And there are 16 different stamps within this um, stamp set. The other stamp set we'll be using just for the sentiment comes from Colorful Seasons, and this is a carryover from the 2017-18 annual catalog. And we'll be using the sentiment, may all your tomorrows be as happy as today. You will also need a silicone mat um, for your adhesive, if you have one of those. Um, scrap paper piercing mat for the sentiment. I'm also going to show you the Simply Chamois, and this is new in our annual 2018-19 catalog. It pretty much looks like a hot mess, but it really isn't. Um, this is a cleaning tool, and it's just wet right now with water. And again, it just looks like it's a disaster, but it, it really isn't. I have cleaned this. Um, just with a little bit of dish soap and rinsed it clean and it just stays in this uh, the Stampin' Up! case which you can purchase on my online store. So I'll show you how to clean your stamps with the sh um, Simply Chamois. The DSP we're going to be using is, um, this is the Wood Textures DSP. It's a 6x6 six six and it is a carryover as well which I absolutely love because great man cards. Um, Nature cards, it goes very, very well with the Nature's Poem Suite. And speaking of the Nature's Poem Suite, let me show it to you. It is absolutely my favorite so far. And there's a lot of, lot of great stamp sets in this annual catalog that just came out. But I, like, I'm drawn to this. It, Nature's Poem is absolutely, I don't know, it's just, I just love it. So... If you're stuck with and don't know how to use it, just look at the designs that um, the designers at Stampin' Up! have created. Different projects, cards, um, you name it. So I have the bundle. Um, so you can purchase the Rooted in Nature bundle, um, either wood mount or clear mount. And I have the clear mount. And also you can um, purchase the Nature's Twine, which we'll be using today. We're gonna to be using the trinkets. They come in silver and copper. Uh, we're gonna be using different card stocks. We're, we're using um, Tranquil Tide and the Mint Macaron and Whisper White. Um, not these choices, but um, it, it, it come, the choices I'm using are in the Nature's Poem Designer Series paper, so we'll be using a strip of that as well. So let's get started creating the card. I'm excited to bring it to you. Again, um, we are using the twine and the trinkets and some heat embossing, so let's bring in the paper. We've got an eight and a half by five and a half card base, and that is um, scored at four and a quarter in its tranquil tide. We're going to do our stamping first. So the ink colors that we will be needing to create these image in the middle, our focal point, our Sahara Sand and Mint Macaron. So I've got the new one of the new ink pads here, Mint Macaron, and I, I don't have the Sahara Sand yet, but it's on my list. So we will need um, a piece of scrap paper because you don't want your surface to get dirty. I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White. This is cut uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. We'll be using just two stamps from uh, the Rooted in Nature, the leaves um, and the branch. So we're going to be stamping off every single time we stamp, we stamp off. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So we're just going to, um, I'm going to start with the Sahara Sand, doesn't matter what color. I'm just going to ink my stamp up full strength, ink off on the scrap, and then just stamp down. It's just a lighter shade. You don't want a dark shade because then you won't be able to read your sentiment. Then another one, and I'm, I just turn my stamp so it goes in a different direction. And then stamp off, and then stamp on. So we've got three of those. So now I'm going to bring in the Simply Chamois because we're going to 
need to ink this one up in mint macaron and I don't want to contaminate my brand new ink pad. So let's bring this in here. All you have to do is just go like this and it's clean. And let me show you, I'll just stamp on here and it's just, there's a little bit, but I think, you know, it's done, it's clean, it's so easy. You don't bring, pick up any lint, dust, nothing. So um, again, it looks like a hot mess, but it really, it's great, I love it. It's my go-to stamp cleaner right now. So this is the new Mint Macaron style of ink pad, just like your cosmetic um, compact case. It's very easy to use. And we'll just ink this up. Again, we're gonna be stamping off. It doesn't matter where you put the leaves. Okay, so we've got three of those and, and three of the Sahara sand. And we're done with this one. Actually, no, I'm, go I'm going to go, let me go back to the Sahara sand because I wanna put those branches in a brown, a light brown. So we're just gonna ink that this one up with Sahara sand stamp off for a lighter shade, and then stamp on our card. This is act um, adding just a little bit more detail. Okay, so that's great. So now we're truly done with these. We're going to be doing some heat embossing in our, our sentiment next. So we'll need our piercing mat because we'll be working with photopolymer. And we will also need Bristlemark and Tranquil Tide. And I've got the clear embossing powder on the side. So I'm just gonna take my embossing buddy, I'm just gonna rub the surface here just to remove any static or fingerprints that I might be on the panel. Now I'm going to ink up the sentiment with the Versamark. And I just like to take the Versamark to the stamp because it is a much larger stamp. And I'm just doing little, little gentle taps. Just making sure there's enough Versa Mark on there. Now I'm going to take my Tranquil Tide and I'm going to ink up the sentiment. Um, this does not contaminate your ink pad, just to let you know. All right, so I'm just going to stamp that sentiment right smack in the middle. And there you go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is bring in the clear embossing powder and we're gonna and we're going to add the embossing powder to the sentiment. So with the clear embossing powder, it just mutes or kind of gives your image a matte look on that tranquil tide. So it's not as bright anymore, but you wait till you see what you're gonna get. This is my favorite one. All right, so we're just gonna heat this up and we'll create our little magic. Okay, it's turning right now. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just gonna flip this over because we wanna be careful not to burn ourselves when we're heat embossing because the chisel does get pretty hot. All right, I'm just gonna shut this, oops, I think that B, there we go. I didn't have that B all the way done. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Make sure we have it all heat embossed, which I do have it, looks great. Um, and I hope you can see this, it's just gorgeous. All right, so that is all done. We need to bring in our big shot, so let me clean up my work surface here because we need to die cut this. And we're gonna be die cutting it with the stitch circle. And bring that in. I just barely um, purchased some new acrylic plates. I hate to use them because they're so, they're so new. But they work so well. Once in a while, your, your plates will get warped. So I like to change them out um, every once in a while. All right, so I've got this die on here. And if you know, it's gonna cut off a little bit of that T 
and a little bit of the R and the Y, but that's okay. You're still gonna be able to read it. I'm just gonna add that top panel. So I've got the magnetic platform, acrylic plate, the cardstock, the die, and the other acrylic plate. And now we're just gonna run this through the big shot. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Right, we'll get those out of the way and we'll just pop this out. And there we go. So as I said, it cut off just a little, it didn't actually cut off any of the R, just a little bit of that T, but this, this die fits perfectly within that um, stamp panel. Okay, so let's bring in our silicone mat and we're going to adhere all these layers together. So I've also pre-cut with a big shot the layering circles and the scallop circle. So all these are gonna layer on top of each other and then we'll add them to the card front. So very easy. Just we're adding our adhesive to the back side of our stamped image. And we're just putting that right in the middle, giving it a good press, flipping over and adding more adhesive to the Tranquil Tide. And we're adding this to the Mint Macaron Scallop Circle. So there you have it. So now we need to put together the rest of the card. So let me just find all of my pieces here. Okay, so now for the inside panel, I have a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter, and I brought some of the wood textures uh, designer series paper. I'm just going to add this piece down to the bottom. So when I'm looking at this wood textures paper, I'm looking at what side do I like. I, I like this because it's got a little bit more um, funky lines, wood grains, than the other side. So I'm just going to read my adhesive on the back side and I'm just going to put it flush to the bottom. Now if your paper is cut just a little bit off, Mine's okay, but if you, it was, you would just take your snips and cut, trim it off. So I'm just gonna add adhesive to the top and bringing in my card base of Tranquil Tide. Again, this is cut eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So that's the inside of our card. Now the front panel, I've got a piece of our mint macaron. This is cut four by five and a quarter, same size as the Whisper White. The Nature's Poem Designer Series paper is cut two by five, and our Wood Textures six by six Designer Series paper is cut one and three quarters by five. So we're just gonna attach these. It does not matter what side, it's just more of your preference um, which side they go on. All we're doing is looking for a quarter of an inch on all four sides when we're done adding these on. So again, I'm bringing the mint macaron. I'm looking for a quarter of an inch, which I've got. Now I'm gonna add the designer series paper. I like this side too. You could actually use this as your front and then another piece of the same side and just flip it over if you don't have the wood grain. And then we're just going to match this up and it's a quarter of an inch on all four sides. Now I'm gonna bring in another piece of the wood grain paper and I chose a darker color because I, I didn't wanna use the same wood grain and wanted something darker to break this up. So um, again, decide which side you want shown. And we're just gonna add our adhesive. And this is cut a half inch by five. And before I really secure this down entirely and giving it a good press, I'm gonna make sure it's straight. Okay, so that's all set. So now we're gonna bring in our um, twine. So let me just show you the quickly the twine. It comes in four different colors. Um, so I've used the, the each color on um, a few of my samples I'm gonna show you at the end, but um, this is really this is really nice twine. It's very, very thick. You can also, what you can do is um, cut this like a piece off and then just take the, the um, threads out and you've got kind of like a linen thread going on. So I've got the trinkets here. Um, I'm gonna show you these two up close. They come in copper, get the cover off, and silver. And there's different shapes. So we've got this one 
and we also have um, this other one here. So you just gotta be careful that there is a right and wrong side to the trinkets. One's flat and one is, is not. So um, of course the flat side is the wrong side. So we'll take our trinket and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a double knot around the trinket. No bow or nothing like that. I'm just gonna tie a double knot. Let's see. Hopefully I can. It's just a double knot, right? It should be pretty simple. But the I find that the twine is a bit stiff, so I'm still trying to get used to it. Okay, so that's good, and I'm just gonna give it another knot because I don't want this to fall off, especially if I mail this. Um, and if you do mail this, it's gonna cost you extra postage, just to let you know, just because of this, tr the trinket is, it's, it's um, a hard piece, kind of like your pearls or rhinestones. Okay, so that's good and snug. We'll worry about this tail later once we get it secured on. So I got the double knot in there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this at the very bottom and I'm just gonna go up above about an inch and then cut off. We're gonna adhere this to the back side with some scotch tape so it stays secure. All right, so bring in my scotch tape here. And then I'm just going to place this on the bottom and pick this up here. I don't need the silk on that. And I'm just gonna bend this, wrap it around, flip it over, and then just add that piece of tape there. So I was just making sure that this is in the center of that strip of the, the designer series paper. All right, so since this is pretty bulky, we're gonna need to use dimensionals. So we'll add five dimensionals to the back side of this panel. We're almost done. And then just give them a press with your fingernail because that'll re release that backing and they'll come off super quick, just like that. Okay, so now let's put this on, making sure our card is the correct way, our card base, and a quarter of an inch on all four sides and just give it a press where those dimensionals are so it stays secure. All right, so now we'll work on the panel because this is gonna go here. So you don't wanna put dimensional here or here on the back side because the baker swine is gonna be in the way. So just remember that. So we'll what we'll do is we know we need to have um, one on the left and the right side. And then what I do is I use these smaller pieces of dimensionals and I'll put one there and let me just cut some more here. I use every, make sure you use every piece of the, your dimensionals because they work, these smaller ones. You can also buy the mini dimensionals too. Stapin up offers two different sizes. Okay, so now we're just gonna release the backings on all of these. Okay, I've got that done. So now what I'm gonna do is, again, make sure that Blackberry Bliss twine is in the middle of that strip there. And now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna place this right now because I wanna make sure that that is straight. Looks good. So now I'm gonna press it where those dimensionals are. So I know this is gonna, it's very secure. It's not gonna come apart. So now let's just finish up the trinket. So I think this tail is a little bit too long, um, but I do want to have some tail, so I'm just going to snip this off. Now, if you want to um, make this look a lot better, I suggest you just take your piercing tool or like a needle if you don't have a piercing tool and just spread those the tails out because I think it looks a lot better. And there you go. So here's your card. And this is the heat embossed with clear embossing powder in the Tranquil Tide. I just love that look in the Blackberry Bliss. So let me um, bring in a couple other samples I've done. Um, one the same way with this color scheme and one a little bit different. 
So this one is made with the copper embossing powder. Notice I used the copper leaf and um, the other, um, the, I think that's Clips of Coral Baker's Twine. And um, that just adds a little pop of color, especially with the Blackberry Blues. It all matches really nicely. And then this one, again, is copper embossed. And I use the um, Sahara Santa or Crumb Cake. I can't remember. I've got to get the numbers, the colors straight. Sorry about that. Um, Baker's, the Baker's Twine. So, and then there's one other, the Mint Macaron, which I haven't done yet, but it's my next. I'm going to make another one of these cards. Um, I've got a birthdays coming up and Father's Day coming up. So this is my birthday and my Father's Day card. So hopefully you um, enjoyed the card today. Let me know which one is your favorite, the copper embossed or the heat embossed with the Trinkle Tide. Please leave a comment below. And my store will be linked in the description box, inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.